Hello everyone, welcome to Model Universe. In this lecture, we'll see about the properties of X-rays. Welcome. This is Gautam. Let me say a few facts about me. I had completed my undergraduate in Radiology and Imaging Technology at Shuflet Institute of Health Research and Leprosy Center in Karigiri Vengal. And I am now working as a radiology technologist in Sri Narayani Hospital and Research Center in Vello. Now let's move into the video. Before going to the properties, let me explain about how X-rays are produced. When a high-speed electron strikes on a target material and their kinetic energy is converted into 99% of heat and 1% of X radiation. This is how X-rays are produced. And now we will move on to properties of X-rays. Property number one, X-rays are a part of electromagnetic radiation spectrum with a coupled wave of electric and magnetic field which is perpendicularly oscillating to each other and X-rays have an extreme shorter wavelength and high frequency. A wavelength ranging from 0.01 to 10 nanometers and the frequency ranging from 10 to the power of 16 to 10 to the power of 20 hertz. Property number two. X-rays travels in a straight line with the velocity equal to the light. Do you know the velocity of X-rays? It's 300,000 km per second. Okay, so here X-rays and visible light are electromagnetic radiation, right? But why light can travel far distance but X-rays cannot travel far distance? Because X-rays interacts with matters but light does not interact with matter so due, due to no interaction it can travel further due to x-rays interaction it loses its energy in, in the matters so this is the reason why x-rays cannot travel far than the light okay property number three x-rays are not deflected by electric or magnetic field so the reason is X-ray does not have any net charge. For the better understanding, let me say an example here. Okay, so here I have a charged particle. When I pass this charged particle in between the electric or magnetic field, it may either deflect downwards or upwards because it have a charge, right? But in the case of X-rays, if I pass in between this electric or magnetic field, this does it does not deflects because it does not have any net charge. So this is the reason why X-rays are not deflected by electric or magnetic field. Property number 4. X-rays can penetrate through opaque or dense materials like soft tissues and metals etc. For a better understanding, let me do a model experiment for this property. Okay, here I placed a torch and x-ray tube and then I placed a paper, cardboard, wood and metal on the path of these two source. At last, I placed a fluorescent screen to find out whether x-ray is penetrating through this material or not. Okay, let me do the experiment. I am switch on the light source. Oh, light is partially penetrating through paper and completely stopped by cardboard. Okay. Let us see what happened in X-ray. Screen is fluorescing. By this what we can understood is X-ray can penetrate through these materials and it produce fluorescence. Do you know why X-rays can penetrate through this material but light cannot penetrate? Because X-rays have a high frequency that is more than 124 kilo electron volt. And in the case of light, it has only 3.1 electron volt. This is the reason why X-rays can penetrate through this material and light cannot penetrate. Then how X-rays can be stopped? Let me tell you how. X-rays can be stopped by a metal called lead. Do you know why? Because it has a high atomic number that is 82. So these LEDs are used as a radiation protection device in radiology field like protection barrier, lead apron, lead thyroid, lead gloves and lead gonad shield. Property number 5. 
X-rays can produce fluorescence when it interacts with certain rare earth materials like zinc cadmium sulfide, calcium tungstate, and barium platinocyanate, etc. This barium platinocyanate was helped to discover a new invisible rays called X-rays by our Sir William Conrad Rongen. Do you know what happens when X-ray strikes on this material? When X-ray strikes the electrons which is present in the atom of this material, the electrons get energy and moves from ground state to excitation state and light photons emitted when excited electrons started to decay to ground state and this is the reason for the fluorescence when X-ray strikes on it. X-rays can affect photographic film and forms latent image. Do you know what is latent image? It is an invisible image which is stored inside the film the before development. And after development, we can read the image which is present inside the film. Property number 7. X-rays can ionize or excite in the substance through which they pass. Now let me tell what is ionization. Okay? When an atom loses its electron from the orbit, then it is called ionization or excitation means when an electron gains energy and which goes from the ground state to the excited state, that is called excitation. So when this X-ray strikes on those substance, these Ionization and excitation is happens there. And this is the last property that is property number 8. X-rays produce biological effects in living organisms by causing cell death or cell damages. And this biological effects classified into two types. Deterministic effect and stochastic effect. Let me tell what is deterministic effect. Deterministic effect occurs when receiving high exposure of radiation in short period of time and it has a threshold value of greater than 0.5 gray. It causes skin rashes, skin burns, cataract formation and even death can be caused by receiving more than 25 grays. Let me tell about stochastic effect. Stochastic effect occurs when receiving low level of radiation dose for a prolonged period of time and there is no threshold dose value and it causes cancer like leukemia, bone cancer, lung cancer, etc. and also hereditary effects. And that's it about the properties of X-rays. I think this video is useful for you. And if you have any doubts or feedbacks on this lecture, feel free to put a comment on our comment box. We will try to make it on our upcoming lectures. If you want to get our upcoming videos, you can subscribe our channel. And then, then they want to come. come.